Hi, my name is Paige Hollingsworth, and this is my audience for my speech today. Oh no. Hi, um, <laughs> we live in a broken <laughs> world um, full of pain and sadness, um, and we know this because we are broken people and we encounter the evil around us every day. Um, and so we all inherently know that there's something missing in our lives and we have a longing and desire for something more, and that is Jesus. Um, and so Young Life is a ministry organization. It's also a nonprofit, um, but it has a mission of reaching adolescents who haven't been reached yet and sharing the truth of the gospel with everyone around us um, so that everyone can know life to the full with Jesus. Um, and so to start off, I'm going to talk a little bit about the need and why Young Life exists um, and how we reach kids. Um, and so Young Life was started in 1941 um, with the intent of reaching kids um, who didn't necessarily grow up in a religious background or have an understanding of who Jesus was um, or they weren't necessarily plugged in. And so they want to reach, we want to reach kids who are not being reached yet. Um, and so if you go to Young Life's website on the About page, their mission statement is introducing adolescents to the gospel and helping them grow in their faith of Jesus Christ. Um, and so we do this by getting to know them. Um, and we want to do this because we all have been met by Jesus first. Um, I'm a leader, a Young Life leader volunteer. Um, and so we have all been changed and transformed by Jesus in our own lives. And so we have a desire of introducing him to others, um, and specifically high schoolers. Um, that is a mission. Um, and so we do this by leaders going out and hanging out with kids. Um, Young Life has a huge... Um, mission of forming relationships first and then sharing the gospel. And so Stacy Wintall talks about this in the Relationships Magazine Spring 2008 issue. Um, and she summarize, summarizes how we share the gospel by sharing the gospel with lives first and then with um, words second. Um, and so to do this, we have to hang out with kids and we get to know them um, and we form relationships with them and we gain their trust and then we share the gospel with them, um, which is such a sweet thing because we get to know them personally and um, we get to know them to their core before we share Jesus. Um, and then we get to share our lives with them and how we have been transformed ourselves. Um, and so it's a beautiful picture of Jesus' love and hanging out with kids and meeting them where they are first. Um and so doing this, Young Life is not what changes people's lives. It's obviously Jesus, but the ministry as a whole is such an incredible vessel of sharing the gospel and the truth. Um, because um, if you look up on Facts at Your Fingertips, again, found on the Young Life website um, from 2017 to 2018, um, over 348,000 kids were reached and involved weekly. Um, and so they were involved in club and campaigners. And so club is something we put on every Monday night um, where we get to put on fun and exciting high energy games and mixers. Um, and we get to show kids how fun and adventurous a life with Christ can be. Um, and at the end, everything points back to him where we get to talk about Jesus and who he was as a person um, and how he has changed our lives personally. Um, and so campaigners is is kind of like a little small Bible study group where we get to meet with a core group of friends that we hang out with each week and we get to dive into the Bible and dive into their life deeper um, and share with them um, more about Jesus than we could on a Monday night with everyone in the club room. Um, and so total kids reached by this mission is 2,670,000. Um, and so this is uh, at, at high schools, club, campaigners, club, Throughout the year of 2017-2018, this is the total number of kids reached, which is incredible and it's only possible by all the people involved in the ministry. Um, and so th this includes volunteers um, that go, they can be college students, um, graduated, married, you can volunteer at any age. Um, you just have to be out of high school. And this is also people on staff. So people on staff go, that is their job. Um, they join the mission, they help fundraise, um, and they go and love on kids for their job um, and employment. Um, and this also includes donors, people who donate um, financially to this ministry because they themselves have been changed and either they have or their kids have, and they have seen their dentist story of Jesus in the lives of people close to them. 
Um, and so the people involved in this totals at 306,454. Um, and so this would not be possible without them. Um, and so I myself was a kid in high school um, who was met by my Young Life leader. Um, and she is the person who showed me personally what a relationship with Jesus looked like. Um, before her, I thought I knew I had it figured out, but I, I did not. Um, and so through her, I got to see the gospel played out. And I got to see her love me and love the people around me, um, just as Jesus did. Um, and because of the love she showed me, I became a Young Life leader um, so that I could love people how Jesus loves us and I could get to know them. And so I do this in Navasota. I get to go into a high school and meet girls and hang out with them every week and share my life with them and share the gospel. Um, and so if you want to get involved in this, we are always needing more people um, because there are always more people to be met and told the truth um, about who Jesus was and what he, uh, how much he loves us. Um, and so if you want to be a volunteer, go on staff, um, donate financially or your time. Anything helps. Um, we just want to reach kids who haven't been reached yet. Um, thank you so much.